Welcome to my channel, Beo here. Today I share with you my next mini canvas from Recycled Cardboard, everything with wing week 16. In case you are new here, my channel is about mixed media, art journaling, book or journal making, assemblage and more. Basically whatever sparks my interest. So I hope you stay tuned. Usually I upload two videos per week. So if you are curious with what else I come up, hit the subscribe button. To get notification when I have a new video, you also need to hit the bell icon. Also, there is no guarantee that you always get notification. It is just the way YouTube runs the system. Now let's get to the mini canvas. As you can see, I did start with the collage for the background. I did use a fashion magazine and did pick out the nice colors and patterns. This is one of the magazines I keep handy for collaging, so I put back the scraps I don't need at the moment. Not all the magazines work the same for me. With some magazines I use only certain parts and put the rest pretty soon to the recycle bins. Others, like this one, I keep until nearly everything is gone. This specific one is printed on a non-gloss paper. And the colorful prints for the cloth is perfect collage fodder. To glue down I used this time a glue stick. Just didn't feel like Mod Podge. There is no rhyme or reason for that, it just depends on my mood. Both ways work well. Before I go over with acrylic color, I did seal my collage with Mod Podge. Next, I did apply some white gesso. And no, I didn't wait until the Mod Podge was dry. It seems to work that way too. The only precaution I took was to clean off the brush before I went into the gesso again. 
I don't want to have Mod Podge in the chest. So. Next, I added some stenciling with acrylic paint and a cosmetic sponge. After drying with the heat gun, I went over with the gesso again. Yes, layers and layers. So I have applied the gesso, but I wanted to lift up some of the gesso with the kitchen roll paper. I did press it firmly onto the paint. That way you get most of the time the structure of the paper, which I appreciate as an additional visual impact. There is some leftover gesso on my mat, which I transfer to a deli paper. I fill these deli papers with all kinds of leftover paints, and then I have another collage paper for future projects. On my table you can see a piece of mixed media paper, and I'm applying black stazon ink on one of the crazy birds from Tim Holtz. To get a good impression, I usually have two pieces of foam sheet under the paper. Off camera, I have cut out my birds with the according dies. To color in, I use the Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. 
I usually test the colors on a scrap piece of paper. I know a lot of people make those nice color charts, but for me it works only when I use always the same type of paper, as every paper has a little bit of a different white and also react differently. So not a way for me to go. I give the bird some sparkle with a wink of Stella by Zig in clear and for the beak I'm gonna need some more orangey color.
As usual, I like to form out the bird a little bit in a 3D manner with the bowl stylus and again of those same two pieces of foam sheet. To hide the white edges from cutting, I use a black marker. As often, I have printed the quote I wanted for this piece on my computer. The quote goes directly onto the background with some glue. For the bird I use foam dots to lift him up a bit from the background. I like to have some faux stitching with a black marker around the edges. It just ties everything together for me. And for some variety I use a pit pen, which is an ink pen, not an alcohol marker. In the end, this canvas was a little bit too empty for me, so out with some stays on ink and tubes. I use them as mark making tools in all kinds of projects.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Some nice comments and sharing on social media is always appreciated. See you next time!